Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are on page seven. Page seven. So this is a very simple page. I'm going to line up my pocket page on my grid here. So your opening to the pocket page is going to be to the left and right, and then we're going to have two flaps. And these flaps measure five by seven and a half. You're going to have two of those, and then you're going to score a half inch on the seven and a half inch side. So you have a finished panel of a five by seven which is a nice size to mat a four by six photo on so that you have a nice frame around the whole thing. Okay, so I'm gonna come in one inch from the right hand side and place my flap like so. And then I'm gonna turn the whole thing around and I'm gonna do the same thing again lining it up on my grid, come in an inch, and place my top down flap. Very simple page. I'm going to rotate everything in the right position to the correct orientation, then we'll add our magnets. Okay, again we're on page seven, no trevi. So you're going, to, you're going to need a set of magnets. Here. I'm going to place a magnet here, and then we're going to place one on the opposing flap. I like to cover it with a little bit of 5 8 inch double-sided tape to soften the edges of the magnet. There we go. I'm going to press that all into place. Okay, so we've got our magnets. Our interactive components are done for page seven. So the next thing is to get it decorated. So I'm going to line up my papers, uh, do some dry fitting just to make sure everything's cut right, and then ink my edges, and then we'll put the designer paper down. Be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm back, and um, we are going to do the B-sides on page seven. And I picked this very simple um, background, and now that I'm looking at it in the light, I may change my mind. I think I am going to stick with the watercolor background. I think that's going to be a really pretty border around a 6x4, 4x6 photos. This is a 5x7 panel, so you'll have a nice border all the way around your 4x6 photo. Of course, you could do three by two, three by threes as well, or have an even larger border with a four by five photo. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to do the lower one first. It doesn't really have a direction because of the pattern, so I don't have to worry about that. Isn't that bird pretty? papers are really beautiful. If you wanted and you were careful about your paper selections, you could actually make this um, more of a nature album um, and downplay some of the European images that are in here. Like this, for example. Um, if this was on the cover, look at that. It looks much more like a nature album. So you do have some choices if you're having trouble um, imagining how to use some of those strong European images, you can flip it over and get more of this muted, simple pattern. And I like both, so I try to feature both in the album. Focusing on some of the bold patterns for the A side and the muted patterns for the B side, which is where I put my photos typically. It doesn't mean you can't put them on the A side, I just usually think of the A side as more decorative. And then your photos are kind of protected inside the flaps. Again, there is no direction on this pattern, so I'm not paying attention to orientation. Okay. 
there we go. So that is page seven. Okay, we're all done. I'll be back soon with page eight.